Okay, I think we should be live now. Cool. Uh, like, can they hear us right now, or you just have your music intro playing right now? No, uh, they can hear everybody. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, we, we're definitely live. Yep. Yeah, we are cool. now. Hi. Hi, Hello. everybody. Hello. Just gonna Hello. gonna be doing some audio leveling uh, for the game audio for a little bit. I'm gay. Oh, I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> we gotta play. We gotta before. play that YouTube poop uh, before we start, or at least like that part of it. Wait, does Colin have a link to it? The the YouTube. I have like the the fucking. I have the uh, wait, wait, no. gay clip. Hold on. <laughs> no cursing for the first thirty seconds. YouTube gets Oops, angry. Sorry. It's sorry. okay. <laughs> I can't believe this. I YouTube have gets the, angry. YouTube's not the, fun like Twitch. Let, let me talk like an old Tumblr, like an old like Tumblr girl. I have the hecking um, clip right here. Ew. <laughs> the hello on gay. Um. <laughs> we start talking about like um. <laughs> Bro, my hecking doggo. My hecking dog. Hey guys, it's me, the hecking doggo, Borf Fork. Borf Borf. I'm just. I am just a little pupper. I'm going to implode. Just a little guy. <laughs> just a little guy. <laughs> Dang, Google's uh, telling you to go take on. out the trash. Just listen. <laughs> Or you can wait until it gets darker. It might be hot outside. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is the is the game is the music audio too bad? Chat. I I listen to it and I I think I can hear everything normally, but you know I figure I might as well ask before we actually get started. It sounds good. Oh God, I'm gonna ghost. Oh no! Oh no! I'm tricking. <laughs> I'm tricking, 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 i am tricking 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 i here. So fucking good. This is what we're referencing, chat. My name is Brooke and I'm looking for forks. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, hold on. Ghost ghost trick in the other window is giving me issues. So <laughs> I, I can't I can't hold on. I'm gay. <laughs> Hello. I'm gay. Okay. Gay. 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 okay. Now ghost trick, I think it's fine. But yeah, no, we uh we found that YouTube poop because a while ago we were just talking about YouTube poops and we were all getting into One Piece and we were like, why? Why is there any like good YouTube poop uh, of of One Piece? And we looked it up, and that was like one of the only notable ones that we could yeah, find. Yeah, this is the only good ones that we saw. Yeah. The Nobody's only ones that didn't a... have any like really bad jokes or like slurs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm gay. Yay! 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 Time to fry! <laughs> <laughs> the penis is pulsing, which is weird because I don't actually have an ass. Okay, we're gonna start ghosting our tricks in a little bit. Uh, we're just waiting on uh, Hannah get, to get back from the bathroom. I'm right here. Yeah, we're oh. just waiting on Hannah to get back from the bathroom. Where's Hannah? Where is Hannah? She's Hannah. been pissing in that already. bathroom for like three hours. <laughs> Go piss, girl. Go, go, pee girl. Go, piss girl. Okay, hi. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, I missed you. We are 
going to start now. Uh, but just so that people know, Gerber is not here today uh, because he, he had some stuff to do. Yeah, he died. Uh, <laughs> and because of that, uh, his roles that he would normally play, including the new ones that are coming up, will either be played by me or Sarah, who might be joining the voice call at some point. Um, but for now, yeah, uh, I'll be doing my own my Gerber impression, so that way when Gerber's back, it'll be very seamless and you won't notice that he's actually been gone. Okay? <laughs> so anyway. Beautiful. And manual save. We're just gonna dive right in. Yay. Also, uh, donations are disabled uh, and we're only doing super chats, so... Uh, just for the fact of like spoilers and stuff and nobody else is allowed to look at voice chat uh, The YouTube chat except for me so that nobody can be spoiled this sucks. Too bad. I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> Yeah, I mean you're allowed to Jay you Crazy. played the game <laughs> I'm special Anyway, uh, I'm trying to remember what the voice I did for uh, Sissel was uh, When when Lynn lost her life for the second time she was she was being detained on suspicion of my moida, <laughs> but I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. And A button please to work. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. They can either submit to their fate, or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Also, uh, Fyraga, thank you for the uh, five dollar super chat. Oh, we told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. Uh, my apologies, sir. But I never thought that she would run away. Lynn is our angel. I mean, friend. I mean, she's like family to us. And your friend or family, they all run when they have the chance! Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away with the kids? Ran away. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Please don't vent when you're yelling at me. <laughs> Do you know who that girl is named after? <laughs> She's named after my kid! <laughs> You'll never make a detective like this. Now, find Lynn. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Kenny, but when when you do like the whisper yell, it reminds me of like those like like Minecraft Let's Plays made by like five year olds <laughs> when they're trying to like fake rage. You don't and understand. It... You you don't understand. I am so angry! <laughs> I am so angry right now! Let me say, Cobblestone! Why? This can If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. There he goes. Yo, are we making tea? So, a redheaded. Whoa, wait, are we making tea? Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Love tea. <laughs> So a red-headed detective has escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Woo, she's fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. She's gonna be like outside, like face up. I'll just leave. She's like, bitch, you dead again? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like, goddamn, can you stay alive for five minutes? I can examine the notebook. Sad and forgotten behind the bookshelves. Who could she have been calling on the phone before she hit it here? Hello, Papa John's. <laughs> I was gonna say Pizza Hut. <laughs> we are on the same wavelength. Uh, let's see. I can go down here. I don't think there's anything down here, but... Who's that guy? It might- it just might be time to clean this room up. But will that close the matter? Her appearance here, of all places, and tonight, of all times. I hardly think it's co coincidence. I also think I have Alzheimer's. 
<laughs> hey, All timers. All timers. All timers. All the time. <laughs> all time, all the time. Whee! I'm just shocked that none of these police officers notice all of like the things moving around, but at the same time also I'm not shocked they're cops. <laughs> this was Gerber. I think this was Gerber. Oh, yeah. This yes. was a Gerber. That that old pigeon man. Do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? I thought you said Gerber wasn't in the stream. Sir, <laughs> I think this maybe is how Lynn escaped. You here. I literally just started drinking, Mel. <laughs> what? Am I, I to know when you start putting drinks to your lips, fuck um, Yeah, I'm, Liz, I, no, 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 it's okay. It's past the 30 second mark. I can okay. say the, the fuck word and shit. Uh, I almost did a spit take and it went all over my PC. <laughs> she couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh. I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty tiny. G-E-B. Fool! <laughs> don't you think that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Wow. Everyone's got I problems, problems here. Problems. I'm very sorry, <laughs> sir, but that probably said something about your relationship. <laughs> There's a reason why I casted Gerber as this character. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Gerber is not an incel, I swear. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It gave me kind of incel. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to do some tricking the way you just fucking killed him. <laughs> Gerber, we're going four minutes before your death. Hmm. <laughs> You'll never make a detective at that rate. No, because because I'm gonna make him watch this stream as like required viewing so he can be caught up and he's gonna see that joke and he's gonna <laughs> fucking message me and be like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. He would do I'm that gonna regardless. hurt you. He would do that regardless. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, he's threatened me many times. And me. <laughs> and all of us, I think. <laughs> at one point or another. What is this, just the Gerber tea spilling stream now? <laughs> Guys, Gerber's so actually like really mean behind the scenes. <laughs> My thoughts about Gerber Gerber Tron 16. You. <laughs> thoughts on Gerber Tron 16. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Fyraga, thank you for the $2 super chat. When you don't type out your first super chat. Uh, whoops, sorry bud, but thank you for donating another one just to type. And then somebody, somebody named Chet donated five dollars and said, "Pouring one out for Gerber." <laughs> <laughs> oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. It won't open. <laughs> Apparently, that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. Bro, you think I don't know that? I literally tried to open it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> These instruments, are, they're all very suspicious. Kind of like murder instruments for murder. You better keep your eye on that old man, too. Hang on, I have the soundboard in the way. Yes, sir! I have no idea what this instrument is for. As a matter of fact, this whole desk is filled with things I've never seen. I know I've lost my memory, but still, was I a fucking idiot? That old pigeon man seems like a pretty strange guy. Has this guy just never been to, like, fifth grade science before? I mean, may out. maybe he's illiterate. I mean, I think we've already <laughs> explored that option. Oh, wait, wait, that cop actually noticed. The cop actually noticed uh, me move. What in the goddamn? I could swear I just saw this thing move. Don't tell me. Could it be? It sensed the tension between me and the detective and moved to get away from it. Oh, what's going on between you and the detective? That that was an unexpected tangent. <laughs> I'm detective at this rate. What I 
need is some sort of achievement, or feather my cap, or trick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm ghost trick. <laughs> ghost trick. It's like a sniper anyway. agent. Yeah, sorry. Go on. We need to find a helpful lead that might do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Come down, come down, Derek. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, I want to trick so bad right now. <laughs> Dude we, uh, have, dude, we have to sp we have to spell the word out. <laughs> <laughs> what if I need to T R I C K? What are you guys talking about, huh? Hey, hey, what are you guys talking about? I was I was about to go out and do some tricking. <laughs> you guys want to go get a T trick? No trick. Every time they say the word, you know the man's just sword jacking. <laughs> Sissel's like oh, trick. Someone guys. draw that. No Gosh, you would, no, you would not you would not believe what I just saw a person do on a skateboard. <laughs> Tricks. No trick. A helpful and blindingly obvious lead is staring you in the face right now. Oop. Can I trick? No, I cannot trick. I am a ghost and I cannot trick. But I can go someplace else. I wonder... hmm... Wasn't the park the next location that we had to go to? I, I think they were so. trying to meet up at the the chicken place, weren't they? Lynn and uh... Oh yeah! Okay, we'll go to the chicken place in a second. Chicken. 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 The entrance to the nearly deserted park. The detective who was ordered by Cabanella to perform a stakeout is nowhere <laughs> to be seen. Maybe he's in the restroom? I'm fucking shitsin. <laughs> I wonder if that strange young man followed him. Sorry, I thought I saw a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I thought I saw a bug. I was it's about to start on the telephone. It's about to start tricking real hard. <laughs> I wonder if that strange young man followed him in there. Stop looking at me, Derg. I actually don't think we can do anything. We're not supposed here. to be here, no. Yeah, okay, hold on. I gotta open up, uh... I forget which characters that, uh, Gerber plays, so I gotta make sure... Dude, wait, Gerber plays? That sounds like an awesome Let's Play channel. Yo, Gerber plays. Gerber plays? Gerber be playing, Gerber be playing. Um, okay, I got Gerber's rolls up. Mance would be cancelled, like, one month in, though. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but he, no Gerber's the no type, argument. Gerber's the type to do that of his own volition. <laughs> like he was just he he would just come into Discord one day and be like, guys, I have the best idea. Yeah, he I would. The greatest, I just imagined I the greatest the, word ever. I can't even read the leaflet. I mean, I don't think that there's anything on the leaflet. Get out of here. Yeah, what? sorry. I'll go to the chicken kitchen. Yeah, we're we'll gonna go get some chicken. Yeah, chicken. 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 I'm hungry. I want chicken. I have some chicken wraps to eat later. Yummy. Chicken wraps. Ooh. No, not the chicken wraps. Oh no. I don't see any customers hungering for chicken tonight. This, he, he is true. <laughs> I I hear singing coming from the kitchen. La la la, tonight I'm in love. I in love with you and only you. Damn it, it sounds like a Rick and Morty character. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my, my darling Miss Chicken, let me shower you with gifts of salt and pepper. La la la. He has such a way with words. He's not a bad singer, but I guess I better get going. Man, I wish I was his wife. I guess God, we're not I supposed to be voice. here either. No, we're not. We gotta go back to the super's office. Oh, but I can do this. Awesome. <laughs> this game is so cool. You know what? This it's game is so good. Okay, back to the God, super's this office. Game is so fucking cool. Maybe we have to do something with the pink notebook. Yeah, a guy said he needed a lead. He wanted something. Oh yeah, and he. Oh he got, wait. We gotta point that shit out. Oh, you're right. You're right, because he was, oh, and we brought him over here. And then I do the thing that I did in the four minutes before death, where I turned it on. There you go. Oh yeah, I forgot that was there, whoops. <laughs>
Huh? This, this is, is Lynn's notebook. If I give I this, this back I to I thought her. this was Hannah. <laughs> this was originally me, and then Hannah started. Yeah, I don't know. I again. thought it was a different guy. <laughs> that was my my no, apologies. There's a different cop that has a different chin shape. They're like well, twins. Well, Hannah, if you're done stealing rolls from people, <laughs> can't have shit in this house. You really can't. If I, if I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. <laughs> what are oh, you talking whoa, about, whoa. man? Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, relax. Dude, why is every character in this game like an incel or a cop? Or both? <laughs> or both. <laughs> you know why. Hmm, what to do, what to do? This is a very complicated matter. Bro's like, I'm gonna get my dick wet over this. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, girl, I got your notebook. Only one way to get it back. Oh, no. I've seen this in a dojin before. <laughs> what have you got there? What, this? Uh, this it, 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 go away, I'm getting my dick wet. Oh, you're getting your dick wet? Wait a minute! What are you reading? <laughs> it, it's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, huh? Maybe if I give it to her, it'll spark something between us. <laughs> Back <laughs> off, it's my idea. <laughs> something about her looking at that notebook and making a phone call. No! This must be it. This telephone number with the big circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am, I really am, sir. I'd like to know. <gasps> oh. But I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Me neither. No. I don't also have any ulterior <laughs> motives. I'm glad we're both normal people. <laughs> and not incels. <laughs> this number might be to an important lead. I'd better check it out. You better not. Oh, we're getting a new number. Who is it? Trick time. We're tricking. Sleeper agent, activate. Whoa, why <laughs> you got his back arts like oh that? Oh my god, yo! God, yo. God damn. Hey, yo! <laughs> no, he's <laughs> disturbing! Arch. What's that? What's that guy's number? Arch. Hello? To who am I speaking, please? Hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Oh, uh, is that uh, Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't need to usually call me this late. Oh, uh, uh did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yeah, I did. She calls me every night. We tight. Maybe she sensed it's about it to happen. Did she say anything special? <clears throat> no, not really. Is something wrong? Uh, yes. Well, <clears throat> uh, I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Ask if they have friends. So Shit, I already well, hung maybe. up. Why did you say that now? God, God damn it, damn my it. pegging I'll... alarm is going off. I'm gonna be single forever. <laughs> Oh, uh, McCall, you can call me anytime, baby. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to file, for you, for I'm going to go file the guy. report down at the station. Uh, I need you to be diligent, uh, vigilant here. Damn it! <laughs> Excuse me, detective, but what is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave? Uh, uh never mind, sir. Huh, just stay on your toes. Man's caught simping. I'm gonna go give this back to Lynn so it'll spark <laughs> something between us. No, you son of a bitch. Find your keepers. Man, how am I supposed to get my dick wet now? The KMR2675. I don't know, you could call that other cop. Why the hell does this ROM that I up that I downloaded have something called xenophobia.nfo on it? What the fuck? Oh, that, that's, I think that's like a, a ROM tag or something. I, I have a couple, uh, I mean, my friend has a couple of those uh, that I have them on it. Xenophobia, isn't that that RPG with Ryan? 
I Roy, no take a look. Reference. We found the xenophobia blade. <laughs> oh. Wait, who who is this? Oh wait, shit, that's me. Sorry. <laughs> what was that call all about? I heard you say Lynn. Oh. Oh, oh there's like two. To know whether Why is your back arch them? like that, sir? I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the, only, the only place in the world where nothing's going on is inside your brain, Bailey. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yo. Oh. Why does he serve? What's that supposed to mean? It means you're a dumbass. I know what the world word means. It's not what I'm asking. That's my way of expressing. Ign ign I don't know that word. Indignation. Putting in indignation, putting in the form of a question. Words are hard. <laughs> I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know. You know. Soup. According to my log, <laughs> Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So, let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that rest to call, eh? But what exactly is this place? I'm gonna trick so hard. I can't do anything. I can't do literally anything. Oh, oh my god! Jesus, oh, look oh. at this! Yes, sir? Oh, oh my funny. god! Hey, you're in the workplace. You're not allowed to have weapons like that. Bro, Clear the curious the soul. Community. Wait, hang on. That there's like a bump there. That's not looking very. Ooh. Oh, I see that now. <laughs> it, oh that my is... god! <laughs> right before the model, the model changed right as Bailey sat down. So it was a brief moment, but it was pointy. <laughs> the screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rows are really, really small, and you can only see right into them from the outside. I think I they're suppose, rather average. I suppose the open bars. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where the, all those little rooms are. I wonder where all these little rooms are. I'm so good at reading, man. <laughs> Let loose. That's the same. Yoink. Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night so I wouldn't forget any of them. And duty. The paper only <laughs> says serve. <laughs> you can't keep them in your head? It's not like you have a ton of duties after all. Hey, listen. Use a little brain power. Ah. What are you talking about? Are you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Hmm. Didn't think you'd take it in quite that direction. Guys, be nice to each other. So, let's see this important to-do list of yours. 9 o'clock, take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. <coughs> yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. 9 o'clock, huh? That's when Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight, rules are rules. <laughs> Aw, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could comfort her. What is up with everybody and wanting Lynn? Jesus yeah, Christ. this everybody is like, really everybody wants her, her for real. To be fair, have you seen Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo! Why are you so mean to me? <laughs> it's okay, I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room now, you know. I think this guy's homophobic. <laughs> Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Wait, which one? Him and me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll figure it out. Telephone room.
Damn. God damn. <laughs> Holy yeah. fuck. God damn. <laughs> Hello? I'm just having a have, conversation with yeah. myself. It's fine. Have, have fun with this one, Sock. <laughs> Sock trick. Loon. I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. Uh, I'm sorry, detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't, but you're always, but you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. Uh. <laughs> By the way, is something going on with you tonight? <laughs> what? Why do you ask? I got a call from, uh, I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Uh, oh, really? Well, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? Do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if it's only for tonight? Well, I... Uh... Oh! I gotta go. I'll call again tomorrow. <laughs> Dude hung up immediately. Damn. Holy crap. Yeah. Didn't even say goodbye. Dude didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> he was like, okay, I'm done. See ya. Oh boy. Well, I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. <laughs> Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. Well, Why are you I'm so, so mean. mean to me? What a reliable co-worker. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? That's right, I heard the conversation from here. You're loud <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Tonight's kind of a special case for us. Can't you make a special exception for my Lynn, too? That's oh, right, my, gosh, my Lynn. No. What <laughs> is happening? You guys are weirdly thirsty and I don't <laughs> like it. Special case, huh? All right, you win. After all, no more duties means more time for us. You're just jealous of my fat ass. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Actually, let me see what Cecil has to say. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I better hurry. She might be dead again. That would suck. <laughs> Damn it, not again. Goes back to the phone, she's already dead. Somehow the phone cord's like around her neck. <laughs> I don't know how to hang up phones. I'm actually- Oh my fucking god! Woman. Lynn, it has been 10 seconds. Bro! Are you joking? No help me, god. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't have been me instead? <laughs> All of you guys are really weird simps. I'm no use as a police officer, it should have been me. I'm no use as a police officer anyway. Oh, it looks like she's dead! We better not touch her! Who did this? Who shot Lynn? It was me. The shooter. <laughs> the shooter goblin. Hey, excuse me, mister. You talking to me? Who the fuck else is here? Yeah. You could be talking to Precious, I don't know. This room... There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? Do you see one? God damn, okay. Huh? <laughs> then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into thin air in a vacuum. I think you're as dumb as Bailey. <laughs> Just go find a real detective, for the love of God. 
I'll keep watch here. Yes, sir. You went so mean to me. <laughs> the fuck we gonna do, Precious? Eat him. <laughs> what a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. <laughs> That's me. But no mysteries <laughs> for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see what the truth is behind this murder with my own eyes. I'm gonna trick. <laughs> Cecil, I'm sorry I had a heart attack after the phone ended. <laughs> Too much chicken. I died again. Bruh. You sure did, man. <laughs> I thought you'd be a little bit more brave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It gets scary. What can a girl get used to it? Don't you think? Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So, what happened this time? Who shot you? Oh. <laughs> what? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me this time? What are you asking me for? <laughs> Oh boy, guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. <laughs> chop chop. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. She shot herself just to see if he would come back and see her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Again. Ooh. Again. This is what, like the third time? If you die again, I don't think I'm saving you. <laughs> you know, if you die, if you die another time, you get a free slushy at 7-Eleven. <laughs> Filling well, out your death card. Spider-Man tells me I only get one, but like I get three here. <laughs> the the double ghost trick Slurpee cup. <laughs> How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't ripe. What? Thank you, Precious. She did hide herself in that thing. <laughs> oh. Wee. I'm coming, hold on. Oh, there was a layering issue. When he when he picked up the phone, yeah, the saw. phone was behind his hand. Oh. That's so interesting. Ass. We're going back in time to four minutes before death to get Lynn off the menu. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're going back in time four minutes before the death to get Lynn off the menu. Oh my what god. The what the world is this? It's booby trapped. A what trap? Booby. booby. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. That's the truth behind our locked room murder? The room murdered you? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? No! <laughs> that old pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What could the meaning behind this weird room be? Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires off his arrow, it's all over. Okay. I 
100%, I'm, I'm not joking when I say this, I don't remember the solution to this puzzle, so this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Bunch of tricks. Okay, so I gotta wait for what's-his-face to come over. I don't think he has a name. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than others. Uh, why is that? You know, because... Because the murder is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures. But I can manipulate the machine. Uh, now I just gotta figure out how to stop it. When the four minute ago me turns on the light, that's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. It looks like the key to solving this one is understanding the device. Okay, so I still can't move yet. I gotta wait for Pigeon Guy. Taking his sweet time. Yeah, he really is. He's old. Okay, we already know what he says. I have a feeling like we're supposed to go on the phone. Because he does call, and then through the top, I can, like, I can trick to the bottom through the ceiling fan from earlier. Mm -hmm. mm, pretty smart. But, I gotta figure out who's in the home. In the home. <laughs> there we go. I can't dial, I gotta wait. How did you manage to cram yourself into that tiny elevator? Always like small cramped places. Whenever I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like I gotta crawl in. The place I almost feel- the place I almost- I most feel at home is the space between my bed and the wall. Eh, yeah, I guess I can understand that. Cozy. Ah, we're birds of a feather! We should get together and talk about it sometime. <laughs> Man, I, I love them. I love them as a duo so much. <laughs> Here comes Pigeon Guy. My, we know. <laughs> We're aware. Oh, uh, is this the superintendent? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought I was all alone. Yeah, go there. I think that this is the right choice. Yeah, because you'll be able to, like, go down. Yeah. You can look up. You're a <laughs> Fuck out of my face. So if I can just somehow get down there. It's all over. It's all Jover for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. Then those detectives, magic bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. Then I dropped my phone and it broke. <laughs> then the old man with the dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored me. If only someone would give me a kind word right about now. He's going through uh, it. You want to give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Uh, let's see. Hang in there. That's, that's really all you got? <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. Uh, really you're doing great, my mans. Thank you. Shit, shit up. <laughs> yeah, put me down. Put me down. Lynn ran away. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. He's in the Shinji chair. He's in the Shinji chair pose. Lynn ran away. The detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. <laughs> and then the kettle knew he scared me to death. And nice. dad keeps telling me gotta go in that damn robot. <laughs> My life is in complete shambles. You should shambles. kill yourself. <laughs> you should kill yourself. And I'll go four minutes be beyond your death. <laughs> so I can solve this other murder. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. We were just trying to warn him with the kettle whistle. Would he have preferred getting scolded by the steam? Well, at least his fate was changed a little bit. 
grand order. And that's good anyway. Fate changed. There we go. This, this changed nothing about Lin's fate, but sure. Okay, we're in. Please. No, 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 it's the murder machine starting. Yep. <laughs> what do we do? You gotta, you gotta wait for the ball to fall down so you can move into the other side. Gotta wait for that ball to drop. Yo, wait, is this new music? There it goes! The murder machine has started! And if the whole thing plays out, that gun on the wall would go off. But before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks! <laughs> there must be some way to disrupt this domino effect. You just have to find it! Here it goes! Okay, where- okay, where will this go? Okay, toolbox, open. Hoist move. Okay. I don't think you need that yet. Oh! 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 Oh, I see. I see. Oh! Oh! You might want to restart that, I think. No, no, no. I don't want to restart yet because I want to try out the other ghost tricks I can do for now. Just okay. to figure out. Okay, so I can launch the ball. That much is obvious. After fate change. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm figuring it out, I'm figuring it out. Alright, check this shit out. Time till death. Okay. So I just need to time this correctly, I don't know if I can. Ah, okay. Swing so, and a miss. Okay. I didn't know if you were going to say something. No, I didn't no, want to cut you off. No, I'll, okay. I'll let you speak. Hey, that was pretty good just now. And maybe if I were... Maybe if we were on a putting green. Well, with a swing like that, maybe we could put it into some use here. Good thinking. I just might be able to use this trick somehow. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I could somehow change the path, the ball to- Okay, I remember. Yeah. Got a bonker on the head, knock her unconscious. But it looks like we're all out of time this round. Okay, yeah. Uh, how do I... Go back to after fate change? I figured it out. I figured it out. Easy. Brain GG, blast. easy. Brain <laughs> blast. Okay, check this out, okay? Lynn's gonna come in, turn on the light. We're going to start rotating. Rotate. And then... Rosinate. Open this. And it creates a ramp. And... Wait for it to drop. And here we go. Surprise! We did Happy it! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! What just happened? Man, it looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. <laughs> your death has been erased. Again. Again, again. Uh, uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Sissel? My promise? You said I'd see you again if I died. No, uh uh I promised that I'd trick. Very, <laughs> very similar wording, though. I understand where you got confused. Mm, you know what? You're right. It's all for my own benefit, anyway. <clears throat> hmm. What could this room be all about? A room like law from One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> but, hmm, I can't imagine. Those things that went off at the end, were they party poppers, weren't they? Party poppers? I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. The party poppers, the gun going off, it seems familiar somehow. Uh... Well, I'll leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Should we... Well, shall we go back now? Back to your new present? 
Not unless I die again. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Sissel, are you there? Lin is talking to me? If you're there, could you say something? If you're not there... I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Drop a brick on her head! <laughs> ah! You're here! I knew it! I just had a feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. You told You literally asked! <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet, bit. It's just a figure of speech. Can you let me speak, please? What are you on no. about? <laughs> Did I literally say anything? There, that tone. It's the tone of yours that makes me mad. She have like. Yeah, she... What is, okay. what is okay. up with the people? What is up with the characters in this game? <laughs> the way they talk, I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> so, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share with some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself? Yeah. Well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit has are, is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. So, why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. There's something strange behind the case, some... Big mystery. I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back, and I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But, if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her a bit about a few things. Uh, so about the one who shot me. <laughs> you have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would be would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you after all. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Dogs? Cats? Tri tricks. <laughs> you're, you're afraid yeah. of tricks? That's my whole thing! <laughs> Sorry, my memory... this could never work out. <laughs> my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met with you tonight. And then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So, you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry. I wish I could be more of help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. No, yeah, well, they're dumb. <laughs> I, I mean, true. <laughs> they are pigs. Yeah. My colleagues wanted... also have a crush on me, I think. Yeah, it's fucking weird. So why would I shoot you before I got it? Oh, I was supposed to give you information, huh? Sorry about skipping that dialogue on accident. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I wonder what info I had for her. Uh, about the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. What does that mean? An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla all right? Uh, she's fine, thanks to her loyal little friend, Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Excuse me? <laughs> oh my god. What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? 
you're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough. Plus, Metroid Prime 4 just got delayed again. Which is fucking crazy, <laughs> no! because it got announced like, like six years ago. That's even are worse you, than all the deaths. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? Well, you know what they say. When it rains, it pours. Isn't it time got, you admitted like to me? Isn't it time you admitted to me that you need me? My psychic powers? I don't know why I put psychic in there. Maybe I'm just feeling a little bit zesty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Uh, so I'll just die again. Is it because I'm dead? Do you not like dead yeah. people? Yeah. Yeah, you saved my life tonight. Three times. And I am completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. Ah, your pig senses are tingling. Understandable. <laughs> That's too bad. So, uh, you ha I had some important information that you wanted. That's right. You called the station yesterday. And you asked to talk to me. But... You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it, even given how fishy it sounds. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have anything to do with the case that you're working on? Hmm. I'm sorry. I can't talk about it. Oh boy. But I guess I understand. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh, yeah. What was it? Uh, the, the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Sissel? Where, uh, what are you gonna do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead. If you leave... <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just realized. <laughs> yeah, I just realized, I think you need a lozenge. Sorry, <laughs> it's all this tricking. It really gives me a sore throat. <coughs> You're a ghost, you don't have a throat. Uh, details. Oh, ye of little you, faith. You good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. Eh, that about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? I don't like how that sounds. Hmm. Don't please don't make it weird. I'm I'm a ghost. I can't do anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do me a favor first? Eh, what's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison to be exact. A prison? That's the place I was calling from, uh, from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yeah, work schedule? For a prisoner? Yeah, the prisoners are given different jobs daily, every day. Job details every day, Jesus. 
Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in the cell. So just, so just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. A hey, button. His prisoner number should be D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Eee. For the love of God, don't die again, Lynn. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. I'll probably be dead. I uh, see you. <laughs> uh, but don't die again if you can help it. If you can help it. No promises. Chips and falls and dies. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not gonna die. Ooh, a crocodile. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dancing! <laughs> I do my little dance dance. Looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So, we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule from Prisoner D99. I'd better get to the prison. Oh, yeah, yo, this track slaps. Yeah, I, I love that little jingle so much. Also, uh, Red Star Eclipse uh, gave a $2 super chat. It said, <sighs> they said, I love the limited 3D they used in this. It's so charming. And I'm salty DK and line. Get Damn better them. jokes. Get better jokes. But thank you for the donation. We appreciate it. Yeah, but thanks it, but... for the two bucks. Hey, hey, get better material, but thanks for the money. Mods, crush this guy's skull. <laughs> Lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to figure out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should, what should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Oh, trick time! Oh, we're tricking? Tricking! <laughs> <laughs> trick time! Trick? No trick. Trick? No trick. No trick. Aww. <laughs> what, do you, do you want to follow up on this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's going through it. It's all over. It's all over for me. <laughs> Lynn, sweet Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun ran away on me. And those detectives matching back hands blue and green yelled at me. Forget about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. Your bright as the sun, Lynn, probably doesn't even know you exist. You're in a toxic Stop parasocial me. relationship. For real! And those <laughs> detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Stop being a fucking simp. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life! Get what you can out of it! Mister. Do you mind leaving me alone? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> They never learn! That's really nice, <laughs> mister, but I'm not sure what the fuck I asked. <laughs> really nice, mister, for that. Help me get pussy. Oh, we're back. We are so back. So, how are the preparations coming along? <laughs> Going from from Jay and Sock to more Jay and Sock. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah? Man, I am not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I don't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours, and then it's time. Will you slash J or slash Sirius? I guess we should get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. <clears throat> the atmosphere sure seems tense. 
I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Day, 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 day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. Cell, <laughs> cell, cell. <laughs> his prisoner number is D99. Nine, 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 nine. His, his, his. <laughs> uh, alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I'd better try to get some information here first. Are you slash J or slash sock? I wish I could read. Stop Me dropping too. shit. <laughs> Me too. Hey, oh. Bailey. Oh. Try painting up your memos a little better next time. Let me see a set. Inspection. Prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I better prepare. Prisoner C-74, huh? What did that big whale do anyway? You don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who, huh? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked, too. What are your demands, they asked. And the guy looks confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. He was really hungry. <laughs> curry and rice? That's it? Didn't order a drink? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower, torched it good. Important documents in the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. Fire bad. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Ah, uh, that makes sense. It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The case sets shockwaves throughout the country. White people can't stand spice. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, except for that last part, white people cannot handle spice. <laughs> In the first place, how does a huge armed guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It was a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did. But, they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. Oh, come on. Don't care. Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Such a jerk. I'll At stop throwing things cycle. away when you start throwing it back. <laughs> I guess this is how I'm gonna get information, letting like memos loose. Yeah. Hey, Bailey. <laughs> Give me more lore. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly. Let me see a thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yeah. He just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C-38, huh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Apparently I don't know shit. <laughs> It'll do your job, I guess. C-38 was a singer in a band. 
His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right at the middle of their concert, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. Bro started singing the new nuclear launch codes. <laughs> <laughs> because the new lyrics exposed the nation's dark, steamy secrets. The nuclear launch codes! <laughs> zero, four, zero, two, three, four! <laughs> Budget, mis misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit deadlines, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets, just like that Discord group. Seriously? Just like Discord? Just yeah, like Discord. <laughs> those Minecraft guys on Discord when they <laughs> leak national secrets. The case set shockwaves throughout the country. <clears throat> but it doesn't make any sense. In the first place, how would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. <laughs> somebody, I'm sorry, somebody, I, I'm sure Jay just saw this too, but yeah, somebody uh, super chatted $2. Uh, Red Star Eclipse said, this is akin to BTS whistleblowing Watergate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Don't care. Don't Stop. care. God, you are the worst! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? No. <laughs> <sighs> well, another <Hate> one. My ass. <laughs> Give me more lore. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Bailey. Hey, Peter. Let me see this. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. The chief is preparing it for him now. It's the chef. <laughs> chef. Oh, the, ch the chef. <laughs> the, the chief, chief is like, chef. I love cooking. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> you know, the, you know, the chief wanted to do it. It's important. Ooh, how fancy. D99, huh? <laughs> Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. Jesus. This just got from, just went from zero to a hundred real fucking quick. Yeah. <laughs> fucking leaked Discord, you know, national secrets, and now yeah, he fucking murdered his wife in front of his family. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything. All a complete mystery. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently... This case is all a matter of national secrecy as well. Is there a single case in this prison that isn't a matter of national secrecy? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't get it. None of this makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is. Don't you? This is a special prison built just for these kinds of special cases. Yeah. Oh shit, Mel Sorry, fell. sorry, I was tricking. I was tricking and I. I... Sorry. Colin got out of his cage again. No! Colin, back in the cage! Colin's out of his cage and he Colin is doing is just, fine. just fine. 
Gotta, gotta get back inside the fucking cage. <laughs> that D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. Not even the beard? Not even the beard. <gasps> I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So, the prisoner I'm looking for, D-99, was convicted of murder, huh? And he apparently has a beard. That's the most important detail of what I've just Toby. learned. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of you throwing my shit! Stop throwing my important memos in the trash! Goddamn! He's got cheeks. Ah. It's time. Who is it? Oh my god. Wait, who the fuck is this? It's another guy. Oh, okay. What is that? Who's that there? Look at him Bro, go. Who let him bring Yo. his fucking guitar in here? This looks like a Numbaka character. <laughs> oh my god, that prison anime? Yeah. Oh my god, you're right, <laughs> though. Yeah, sparkly prison yeah. anime. <laughs> prison school? No, no, no yeah, Numbaka. Numbaka. Cool. Numbaka. It's really good. There, it's done. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, somebody super chatted. Uh, Mason Jarrus donated two dollars and said, Blood on the left sits like a Fruit Loop. Parentheses. Gay. <laughs> Fruit Loop. Yoink. <laughs> Swear to God. Hey, it shit fell again. <laughs> Watch me make the shot. Quit sending these memos over here. No. <laughs> He's not, seen enough. Huh? not until I figure out how you always know the exact instant a memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery. Oh my god. I wish that like the ten the tense music started like dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. It's cause I have ears and I can hear it fall. Knock that shit off! <laughs> next time I will find the answer, next time. I guess it's time to try to find a new path. <laughs> Get the bazooka the out. Fuck? <laughs> Get the bazooka and the MP5s. There you go again, fooling around with that thing! Wasn't me. Bullshit. Don't lie. I know you love to see me jump up and prepare for an emergency. Uh, yeah, sure. Way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Why are those guys all mean? He's so mean. Eh, anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe I ought to get maybe, him prepared, huh? Maybe Bailey sits like that because he always has a stick up his ass. <laughs> well, close it back up. It makes me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. <laughs> no, but God. Just a pain? Pro proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. Do, 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 do. I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. Kid? The one who sang the national secrets. The if he's a prisoner, he must have come from the cells. Yo, I love his guitar. Yo, you're tricking so hard right now. So, this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for this spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like, I'm hungry, or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, yeah, I bet. <laughs> Someone's saying you could trick the bazooka. <laughs> I don't know if this character speaks, uh, but if he does, Mal, you can you can do him. Okay. 
Uh, oh wait, I don't think I assigned this anyway. I'll just- All right, C-38, back to your cell. <laughs> hey, guard man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> a proper walk for a properly red life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. Actually, Salty, yeah, you're supposed to be the rock guy. You, it's on the cast sheet. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I, I switched it because I, I thought Mel could use more things to say this episode. Ah, <laughs> got it. What the fuck was up with that last guy? <laughs> he died. So, he died. so I finally made it to the cells. Now to find Prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lynn possibly want with that information? Oh, Who let them keep all this shit in their cell? I mean, is this, isn't it isn't it a special prison? Yeah, a special prisoner. It's you, Mel. Damn. Sorry, I was looking at the background. <laughs> Don't think I can take another second in the stinking pit. Whoa! Looks like Guardman is gone. Ugh. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this will want, this one will finally do it. Go go go! I would hate to be this guy's roommate. Oh my god! Come on, sausage head! <laughs> can't do it. You can't hear it. Ooh. Huh. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said I would be in one of the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. So, this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Huh. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost, too. Bitch can't read. I can't read! <laughs> oh my god, you idiot! I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I have absolutely no idea what it means! Oh my god. If I can't read... <laughs> if I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what can I do now? What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? <laughs> if I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me! But actually, I, I guess I don't have to worry too much about that one. Anyway, I might as well try to find D uh, Prisoner d 99 cell. Hopefully, I'll at least be able to find something out while I'm there. Holy shit. I can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course, a ghost doesn't actually have hands. I like to imagine that Colin was reacting to the revelation that Sissel can't read in the background. This telephone. It looks like it's an internal line only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are... the other phones within the building that I've already possessed. And this is the emergency button. Hmm, an emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. What the hell is going on here? Oh crap. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. <laughs> there is nothing. Um. What do we. Oh, maybe, maybe something's like going on in the guard looks room. Looks like he's about to make a call. Nothing. Nothing's going on in the guard room. Uh, Wait. Um. No, are you able Bailey, to? Yeah. Are you able to possess those pieces of note? 
Oh, I probably am. I'll go back and do it. So getting, like, washed oh away. Oh my god, yeah, what's with yeah, you all of a sudden? You could probably possess one of those notes as it's being flushed away by... Flushed by away? Walker. Flushed away? Flushed like away? that old movie? British Ratatouille? <laughs> what do you think my quirky behavior? Surprised? Huh? You seemed bored, so I thought I'd wake you up. The prison guards do get a bit quirky at night. <laughs> <laughs> you can call that my gotcha move. What do you think? Gotcha. Gotcha? If a normal person pulled a move like that, sure, I might be startled. But this is you we're talking about. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. <laughs> oh, okay. Aww. Oh, sorry, Bailey. Sorry, Bailey. Poor Bailey. You guys are, you guys are so mean to me. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> How can you be so insensitive? I was only trying to open up communication between us. I thought. Do your work, Bailey. What a team. <laughs> hey, let's go back to. Uh, Damn, that's crazy. The upper row of cells. Try that out. He, just, he doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> it's not the same as it used to be. It's not. Ah, you can. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, maybe you have to press the button again. Yeah, you gotta or press the button that. again. There's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. This bitch can't read. Okay, nothing over here. So yeah, I think the only thing that we can do is yeah. The button. And then I think. And then I you go, go on. Oh no! You can't. Yeah, go on to the X. Because now I I think, I I think he's using these. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Painting man. Chicken. 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 <laughs> Oh, he was dead. Oh, yeah, he's trying to escape. Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> he's doing oh, yeah. it so fast. What's this map built like this? Yeah, bro. His head is just it wobbles. This, this is the guy with the flamethrower that they were talking about. Oh, god. god damn! What? What is? What? Why he head got he sucky? Yo, why he head got sucky? <laughs> It looks like a dick. I can't. It does. Yeah. It does. It's even got the head at the tip. Oh no. By the looks of him, this guy looks like a penis. <laughs> but never mind that. Where did he just come from? What's going on in this cell? Anyway, there's a, there's a little blackboard here too. Maybe just to be safe. I better check out the curry lover schedule for tomorrow too. Maybe I'll remember how to read. <laughs> I still can't read. <laughs> but I'd better go to prison in D99's cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. Okay, now I think I can ring the bell. And then he'll get up. Oh, it, it, there's like oh, suction on his head what, too. What Ew. the fuck is? I don't like oh. him. I don't like it. Where's he going? Oh, he's grabbing the spoon because he's gonna start digging again. Or he's preparing to dig. And now I wait for him to put back the spoon. Oh, oh no! I'm hey. in the spoon. Oh, <laughs> I think he's looking too good. No, oh, he's kind of cute. No. <laughs> I've killed thirty. I've killed thirty people with a flamethrower, <laughs> and my head is a giant penis. What is it? What do they keep putting back on his head? I, I, don't, I don't know, know. what that machine is for. <laughs> is it I just think just like... I think they're trying. I think they're trying to analyze his brain to real to like <laughs> understand why he went into the. It's a like brain the, machine. Like, the, the like he performed an insurrection on the Capitol on July, on January 1st, <laughs> January 6th, 2020. I'm a part of the Capitol riot. 
Here we go. <laughs> and this is Gerber's. Uh, this is Gerber's big role. So I'll try my best. Now I don't know what it is, Boris? but there's something about his character yeah. design that I feel like I've seen in another like media. It might just be the head, the hair, and the beard. It's something about it. What a strange. I like, I like what, a him. what a strange cell, and the prisoner inside it. He seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be Prisoner D-99. According to what the guards said. D-99, huh? Even I know about this one. One, one, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sound effect is so unnecessary. <laughs> he shot somewhere, didn't he? Right in front of a family member, just like that gunshot. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned with this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I only have one objective. And that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Time to trick! It's <laughs> <laughs> like pops. Ooh, what's in here? Photos, eh? Uh, I wonder if these like are of his family. And then he gets he he has the mattress fall on his head and he's like <laughs> Please give him that voice, please. No, I can't. That's he's, up a, to Gerber. he's a really important character. Okay. Oh, I would I would have killed no, no, even Gerber. Better. He he talks way too much. <laughs> okay, that's fair then. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of oh. hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. The only emotion, hatred. A newspaper article has been cut out and framed. Fortunately, I can't read it. It's probably <laughs> about D-99's case. Man murders wife or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. A uh, light... So, the work schedule for tomorrow of Prisoner D-99. The information Lin's been looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am. Anyway, the least I can do is take a quick look. Huh? What, what could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners, but this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung here. He gets a day off. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. So I have the answer Lin was looking for. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D-99 is... nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or, ca know or care. That's how I feel at the moment anyway. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D-99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I'd better get this information to Lin as fast as I can. I can't do anything else, I guess. Yeah, we just got to leave. Dead. D-99, dinner! Chicken. Chicken. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, uh, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. Chicken. <laughs> it's, it's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been out two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D-99? Uh, I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but... Just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree. It's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken. 
and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold out. I've always wanted to have a chicken cooked like that. <laughs> There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. Uh, what's that? Who's the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this, this is the last of those faces. Oh, it's me! Oh shit! Daddy? Now, could you leave me alone for a little bit? Let a man eat in peace. Oh, uh, okay, sure, sorry to bother you. Bye. <laughs> What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? This man was too attractive, I couldn't forget his face. <laughs> Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lin is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lin, fast. And not for her sake, for mine. To solve this mystery of me. Ah, big twist. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? Nobody Whoa. in chat confirmed my theory, but I'm just gonna take a random guess and say that's his dad. I'm taking random guesses here. I was thinking this is Lin's dad for some reason. Maybe. That, wait, that's Sissel's dad? Maybe, I don't know. Who is it? This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, and one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak with you. My man's! Oh, I'm back, baby. Evening. Cabanella here. How are you boys doing? Vector Cabanella. Fine, sir. Not as fine as you, though. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby. Yeah. From Lynn? Uh, well... Yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, especially, she hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz. Oh, I want well, you skipped my line. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. In the Next middle. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Are you threatening me? Uh, yes, yes sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget. She's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Poppy playtime. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. I look forward to seeing me too. All right. Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her too. 
Your Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanella, what would the Special Investigation Unit want with Lynn? Want with my Lynn? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and Prisoner D-99 Detective Jowd good friends? Good friends? Is that what we're calling it? <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> they were such good friends. How come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? I don't know, we used to be good friends. He had, He's the head of the special investigations. He's a very busy man. <laughs> nice save. What's wrong? Chad was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me! Oh my god. Hell. Run away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? Gasp. This is a new side of you. It's kind of endearing. Kiss, hey, kiss. I mean... You coming on to me? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, not saying no. <laughs> Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know? Uh... Back to work. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from chicken. police headquarters intrigues me, too. It's looking pretty obvious right now that white-suited inspector suspects Lynn. But she's been considered a fugitive. This is not good. Wonder if I should go check in on the chief and the inspector in white, too. I'm gonna shoot her on sight, honey. External line. Let's check that out. Oh my god. Oh, bro, bro why you got your fucking dogs out? He's got the dogs out. <laughs> got the dog. the dog's out. <laughs> I, I'm gonna switch this guy's voice. I'm gonna switch this guy's voice to J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Cavanella? We're just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case? The junkyard murder. She did it, eh? No question about it. <laughs> She's a bad little baby. I hate, I hate Cavanella's dialogue sometimes. She's it a is bad so hard, baby. It is so hard to read. <laughs> Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. Oh, what did he just say? <laughs> she did it. Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. Uh, no way. I updated the phone book. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Right, I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... Oof. After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot every time Cabanella says the word baby. Wait, Dude, yeah. you're gonna die of alcohol poisoning. Is that the security camera tape the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Ew. 
his toes. Nothing like it, baby. <sighs> Why a murder case now? On such an important night! It's so important, maybe you can put your shoes back on, damn it. <laughs> For real. Why aren't you wearing socks? Why aren't you wearing Because socks? I don't like the texture on my feet! <laughs> I think you have that wrong, Chef. Chief. <laughs> Chef. <laughs> Sorry, uh, like Cabanel has been watching a little bit of Kitchen Nightmares a little too much. A murder case now for the very reason that it is such an important night. Okay, so I'm gonna need to see that murder footage. How do I get over there? Yes. <laughs> Expand. Before I go find Lynn at the chicken kitchen, it sounds like there's an important piece of info here I shouldn't miss. Yeah, pretty solid evidence. I don't want to see it. Why do I have this bad feeling what's on this tape? <sighs> Nothing like a stretch, honey. <laughs> The junkyard where I died had a security camera, and it captured the most the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Wow, Lynn, you're a murderer. Oh, shit. Why'd you uh, do it, Lynn? I saw uh, myself shot right before my own eyes. By Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks to me, though. Lynn looked so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? Sissel was like, I'm gonna need you to shoot me. <laughs> it would be hilarious. I need to do ghost tricks and I need you to kill me. I need you to kill me so I can perform ghost tricks. <laughs> we gotta do it for TikTok, guys. <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar, Lynn? <laughs> oh my god. The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cavanella, there's something that on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. Oh, hey, he's right. That is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me down the stairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been... He should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down there on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here. A few minutes after the murder took place. Uh, I'm itching to know the answer. My <laughs> feet might be honey. itching. Yeah. Meow. 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 <laughs> You're making these noises all on your own, dude. I know. Is that a black cat? You got it right, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. A hairy pussy. What? What? Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Mora. Straight, straight person said what? 
Good, no one said, <laughs> good, no one said that here. <laughs> and then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Huh. It looks like my destiny of being knocked down the stairs is very hard to alter. This is point X. Come in, Chief. Uh, the Chief here. Did he show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. Uh, but, but this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. Uh. Ooh, up I go. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lamb. Oh, what do you want me to do, Chief? Well, what do you say, Inspector? Please stop serving so hard and just take the phone. <laughs> Detective. Get my baby away from Point X. Do it now, man! And then hold on to her. Uh, yes, sir. I'll go get out and get her, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? It took the special invasion. It took the special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief. But I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. Ruh -ruh. Oh my god. Ruh -ruh Raggy. Wh what happened? Detective, come in! Now what? What happened this time? Damn it. This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. Ooh, ah. Ah. Hey, Detective, it's Point X. Uh, Lynn's dead again. Uh. Yeah, I don't know who this character is on the other line now that I'm thinking about it. Detective, this is Point Sex. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Get your buns over here! What did you- what did you say? Uh, now I finally understand! I finally know what it's like for our poor hungry customers to have their food deliveries delayed! Uh, ex excuse me? But this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen where you needed assistance with? Does something happen here, you ask? More like, there's nothing left here! I gotta go! Wait, wait! What's going on? Something, that's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing. That's for certain. This is why we have you on the case, Cavanella. You always say things normally. <laughs> Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You're going to Point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to my boys. There's some place else I gotta go. Inspector. Your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility and I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must then. God, he's scratching so fast. It's a nervous tick. It looks like he has Crocs, by the way, and I'm just, I love that. He has, he has them flicked into sport mode. Prisoner d 99 <laughs> schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago that I found that out. And now, my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. What? Lynn, my only lead and my partner shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. 
the chicken kitchen, the point X the police have surrounded, and the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? I'm gonna be dead. Jesus fucking Christ. Jokes on a fucking chicken bone. <laughs> Why do I even care about her? That bitch shot me. We'll do uh, one more. I think there's enough time for one more chapter. Mm hmm. Yar. Yar. Yar hard. I just can't get the images I saw at the police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight was the last person in the world I wanted to believe. Is the last person in the world I wanted to believe did it. Now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were calling Point X. But then when I got here, I found the place in ruins. Ah, oh, thank Christ. Lynn isn't the one that's oh my dead. God. Oh no, I'm Just like, this guy's dead. Unless, unless she's into the chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. I was about to say, isn't that a... Uh, that red bit kind of looks like her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. You can, you can see her model underneath the giant yeah. chicken. You can see oh it. <laughs> Whoa. What in the world happened here? I, j I forgot about this. I thought it was just the, the driver guy that's dead. Oh, the heavens! What do I do? If I had known something like this would happen, I would have paid the poor child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she had her fill. Actually, about the singing. She did tell me she had her fill a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite the panic. Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. I, I'm gonna be honest, the first thought I had was like, oh, that waitress just doesn't have a soul. <laughs> <laughs> She's a soulless what husk. <laughs> what does that say about people that work in the food industry, Derek? Wait, no what's souls. that under his hat? There was like an elongated thing there. What? Yeah, what is what? that? <laughs> he has a candle under his hat. Is he related there. to the guy in the prison with the, oh, like, the really long? Is it, is it a bottle of wine? I hope that we can eventually it find looks out. A bottle, yeah. My man's what? drinking on the job. Dude, what was that man doing? Hold on. He was huh? he was Give sniffing. He's <laughs> a fucking rat. Oh, I'm so upset. But do I smell cheese? <laughs> no, no, she's the. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Lynn. Lynn. <laughs> I'm dead. What took you so long? <laughs> well, that's one way to oh greet a guy. What happened here? I know. I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. Have to be tough, you know? Well, and how did it go? Did you check out, uh, did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99? Uh, yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all, right? Okay, let's swap info then. Okay, first off, how do I read? First off, can you teach me how to read real quick? On my way here, I stopped by the police chief's office. Oh, was it just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Uh, not him, uh, her. Uh, there was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the the person who shot me. It was you. No way. You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me. I didn't shoot you. If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So, 
How can you say for sure it wasn't you? B because I told you before! You were supposed to give me some information. Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So, I would hardly shoot you before I even heard the information, right? Uh, I agree. That wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if I... But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. Even though my model's mouth doesn't move, I clearly said something with my hands like an Italian. <laughs> and whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know. You have to believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all of my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all. You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No! No, I didn't shoot you! Please tell me, what did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Uh, I don't know. Clearly wasn't the ABCs. Uh, also, just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on Prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet. Blank? Blank? No! Uh-huh. I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. Uh, how come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Uh-huh. Uh, it means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work. And that's because... He's going to be executed. Uh, executed? Do you know what Prisoner D-99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never. Detective Jawd would never do anything like that. And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Even if the prisoner wants it. Like in this case. Uh, the prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So, this prisoner D-99 is Detective Jowd. He must be connected to me in some way too. After all, he obviously knows me. He painted you very well. Yes, he is an amazing painter. <laughs> and for a guy on death row, he, he really got the flair. <laughs> the police were staking out the restaurant tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say, because of you. Uh, what? Me? 
Hah? Ah, remember this? What a throwaway thing that happened and I completely actually forgot. Do you remember that note I found? Uh, actually, no, I, I don't remember at all. <laughs> it had a place uh, and time written on it. The kitchen, the chicken kitchen at 10 o'clock. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yup. Apparently so. I just had to get that information you were gonna give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X. So that must mean the mark the police were waiting for was me? So what are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Good idea. <laughs> Staff credits. She's, she's speaking facts. I don't know. Lynn's actually speaking some mad facts right now. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled all of the mysteries of me? Roll credits. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna save you, that's what. You are? I wanna know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And I'd like to know who those guys are too. Oh, yeah. I want answers and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you, not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry either. But I'll help you see it, see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now, I think it's time to go back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. <laughs> I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken like that forever after all. Bro, if that was me, I wouldn't eat chicken for like. Not who am I kidding? I would eat chicken immediately after. I'm not even gonna lie. No, I would, I would ask the sh <laughs> I, mean, I would ask the store owner for chicken. I would simply <laughs> eat the giant chicken that killed me. Wouldn't be me before the chicken could hit me. I would simply just eat all of it. <laughs> Note said the chicken kitchen, ten o'clock. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was going to meet here. Bro, I know his name. What's this? Blue people. Here you go. All right, Hannah. Excellent line. See you next week. <laughs> Where's my chicken? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Can I eat that thing? <laughs> Honestly, same though. Why was the idiot in me thinking that that was actually a big, like an actual chicken? Oh shit. Thank God that truck didn't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> No animation to like no slight animation reaction to it. Just immediately gets sunk into the chicken. You're just going to, you're just going bigger, big. Wait, you're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. Leave me alone. <laughs> Can I help it if I get tired of dying the usual way? But I'll say this: it was a death any detective could be proud of. Uh-huh. Makes you say that. 
well, the way you save somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? And the next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one, <laughs> one about the size of that waitress's. <laughs> I'll make note of that for next time. But anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it. You know the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. I'm so fucking dead. Well, you can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. You're one of the I'm good still ones. Still dead, yum. <laughs> the ruin of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. Man, this animation's so cool. Mm-hmm. All right, chicken time. Chicken. Chicken. Awesome. Time for bell. chicken. I imagine that the chicken lady will come over. Yep. Oh, they, I, they can't do anything, though. You rang? Oh, sorry, I didn't ring the bell. Oh, okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kinda like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. Oh, okay, that's all right then. But the chef is the one who makes the chicken. No sense in harassing me about it, right? Keep that in mind, okay? Minimum wage workers be like... Odd girl. I agree. Fuck you. <laughs> Me too. I'd be mad too. No, because I want her to bring that chicken over here. No! Bring the chicken over here! We already done that. What was that sign? A tempting dessert menu item, maybe? Kind of embarrassing to have somebody watch your every move like this. No, the sign was... Come to think of it, what did that sign say? My memory is a little hazy on that part. In any case, just hanging around here isn't going to fix anything. I'll have to look for a way to get beyond this area. Uh, ride with her? No. Nope. I was going to say, hitch a ride with her. I can't because she doesn't. She's not bringing over the chicken. It's no use. I can't read what it says. Mm. Let's see. Oh, hey! Now I remember what the sign says. If you would like some water, please ring the bell three times. Three times? Yeah, the waitress didn't bring any water if you only ring it. Ring the bell once. She said, those are the rules, apparently. I said, apparently? What do you mean, apparently? Don't you work here? Eh, quite a stickler for the details, this detective. I'm resetting, because now that I know that, I don't want to waste any time. Okay, boop, boop. There we go. Three times. I can definitely trick that. Yes, you can. Me when I see a skateboarder. I love. You want more water? Oh, sorry. I didn't ring the bell. And what's with the more water bit? Oh, well, come on. This is your third glass. You're going to be pissing. Gordsby. <laughs> That's a little dig oh, again. That was a little dig, wasn't it? <laughs> Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. Besides, I didn't ring it. But I would like to see you bring my chicken soon. Duly noted. In the meantime, enjoy your piss. <laughs> there we go. Shoutouts to Big Chicken. Shout okay. out to Big Chicken. Chicken. Okay, so carts. 
can't do anything with the car. Elevator? I, yeah, I assume, gotta, yeah. Gotta ride it up with him. I can't even I can't even reach the Might phone. Have to go with her. Yeah, I'm definitely going with her. I love that lady's hair. Oh she has a oh, she has a riding crop. Oh she like that. Oh. This one is a big trunk. It seems pretty heavy too. It's very suspicious and red. Hey, let's see what's in it. Sorry, but that's not possible. It's locked. Darn, I wanted to see what's inside. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, so I can't really do anything. I mean, I guess we can listen in on their conversation. But I doubt that that'll help anything. So, oh, what do you think, my dear Beyonce? Do you really think we can trust this mm, deal? Oh my god, a huge fucking spider just fell down right in front of me. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> no! God. Oh my god, I hope I just killed it. Oh my god. I did, I did. Holy shit. Good job. Oh All right. my god. Are you serious? <laughs> Holy, okay, spider hold on. Scare. Hold on, uh, I'm going to the bathroom. Spider trick. Uh -huh. I'm going to the bathroom to flush this down the toilet. Hold I got a piss oh, thing he, up. Oh, he was being serious. Piss break. Piss break. Piss break. Spider piss. Spider piss. Yo, put the spider in the piss. Piss spider. Piss spider. Salty, that was your spider one chance to become spider. Little spider man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking blew it. Yeah. He altered the timeline. We'll have to let him know when he comes back and just be like, "You fucked up." <laughs> We have to rewind four minutes before the spider's death. Damn it. My dog has been passed out cold this entire time, and I'm just really impressed. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. You take care of that spider? I did. Uh, also, I lied. It was actually very small, but it did spook me, so. Yeah, but like you just missed your only chance to become Spider-Man, so I hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah, but it was, it was mm, icky. <laughs> why, why is there so many damn spiders in my office? Jesus. There's always 12 spiders at your house at all times. <laughs> Somebody chat said the blue guy really looks like Jerma. Does anybody else see that or is it just me? I, I mean, if you make the hair, if dude, you make the, the hair shorter, line. if you make the hair shorter, I could definitely see that. It's the jawline. Anyway. <clears throat> Who knows? It's not our job to think about that. But those incidents did happen in this country just as he predicted. And they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? That fellow who sang out national secrets during a live TV broadcast. And the man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top dog hostage. But what if he double-crosses us, hmm? Wouldn't it be pretty? No, no. He needs this deal, too. And we've accepted all his conditions as well. Yes, and thanks to that, we have he we have to be here on this a little extra mm, assignment. But as long as I'm paired up with you, Beauty, I don't mind. How did these two... How do they know about the cases at the secret prison? The special prison. The super, super duper secret special prison? The guy who sang the national secrets, the man who held siege to the Metro Police. Those cases are classified information at our super, super secret special prison. Hmm, well, I've heard about both of those cases, and recently too. Those 
those perpetrators in those cases are being held at a special facility. That's what the special prison is. But it's not known about, about by the general public. So, prisoner D-99 Detective Jowd is one of those special cases too, huh? These two are talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be just coincidence, could it? What do you mean updated the phone book? Oh, it probably changes special prison. His hair looks, looks like a martini glass. Probably to add these two hmm. to your phone book. Well, what is it, Biore? Why don't we move to a different spot? God, she's so hot. She is. That table over there looks good. Now you're talking, Biore, my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quite, a quiet, secluded spot. Just the two of us. What I wouldn't object to that. Everyone in this game is so All of a sudden, bad. I get yeah. this feeling that somebody is <clears throat> eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. That's all right, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go across the bridge of poultry to the land of love. No, oh, he's so God. tiny. God, look at her go. He's a manlet. He's so tall. We I don't all think know where he's of looking, you. right? Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, look at it. Yeah. What just happened? Did she sense we were here? What? With her sixth sense? Haha. <laughs> but you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Yeah? Like what? Like... Like if there's chicken nearby, I can tell right away. <laughs> That's called a sense of smell. <laughs> but anyway, no. at least the situation has changed a little bit now. Oh, but we are still fucked. Uh, hold on, I gotta think. Uh, also, somebody super chatted two dollars and said, "Hi, I'm the spider. I'm going to trick on you." That was in <laughs> reference to the spider that crawled down under my desk. I think we just gotta stick around here and see what we, we can do. I don't believe in a sixth sense. It's not scientific. Says the ghost. <laughs> but come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? Yeah, it looks that way. Not having legs even <laughs> is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. But what are we going to do now? We're all the way over there. I'm telling you, we'd, be, <laughs> we'd better shake a leg or we're going to miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg not having legs at all to figure her speech. They're still talking about something. I want to hear! Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, we can ding three times. Or just once. Nah, he's special. He gets the one ring. To rule them all? He can have my one ring. He's gorgeous. <laughs> His martini hair. His martini hair. He's got that guile haircut. <laughs> you rang? Oh, I get it. You saw that couple over there. You started to get lonely, right? And you decided to call me. Aw, that's so sweet. Uh, forgive me. <laughs> but I didn't ring for anybody. This man looks like the Chad, like, Wojak meme. What? <laughs> <laughs> kind of does. He kind of does. <laughs> <He kinda> does. <laughs> How big that dick boy? Small. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> now, could you not stand in my light, please? I can't see my glass properly. I've been working here for two days, and I've been waiting this whole time for you to notice me. Yeah, she wants it. 
No, would you stop trying to shake me up and just stick to shaking cocktails? Maybe shake cock a little? <laughs> <laughs> what did she just say? Hey, yo? Uh, oh, did, she, did she just mention shaking cocks? Wow, wow. He has a surprisingly Boing. short career with this place. I mean, the only thing that we can do... Oh, dispense. I love dispensing. Oh, nuts. Oh. oh. Okay, we broke that. Uh -oh. Okay, so you probably, you if notice. you, like, rewind... So I was wondering... We're not stuck over here by any chance, are we? Uh, we just might be. <laughs> Okay, well, I have two thoughts. Number one, if we want to get over there uh, to where those two are, we have to use this red trunk they forgot somehow. Ooh, that sounds about right. Well, what's your other thought? It doesn't look like this blue-haired bartender is going to be much help, Mr. Martini Head. So I guess <laughs> we have to find somebody who can help then. Easy, figured it out. After fade change, <laughs> check this out. Brain I'm about blast. to I'm gonna brain blast all over this. This is the exact same place we were before. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Put the glass down. Oh. Put it down. There we go. I know, I know, check this out. We summon the thirsty girl. I'm the thirsty girl. Thirsty and... girl martini. And since she's a little bit too thirsty, we can offer her a drink. Get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. And then her eye line is down or towards the chest. Oh, you just broke that glass. Just like you did my heart. Bro, I don't even fucking I don't even <laughs> fucking care. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know fucking. I'm not even fucking here right now. I'm not supposed to. I'm not even supposed here. to be here. You can't just leave it. Someone might get hurt. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here right now. Doesn't this I'm... trunk belong to that couple over there? I don't care. I'm gonna go jack off. <laughs> oh, this guy's gonna jack off. <laughs> this guy. I'm gonna jack off. That's right. <laughs> the only things we allow customer to lose here are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about their trunk, if you should be so kind. How gallant of you. I just might fall for you, you know? I'm gonna go jack off. <laughs> Aren't you gonna go Odd grab girl. the case? I agree. <laughs> Me too. And I want to go down. Put a put a put a glass down, Mr. Glass Guy. Put a glass down. Put, yeah. Put a glass down, put, put a glass down if you like if you like me. <laughs> well, goodbye. I've been here for two days and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun. I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Oh, now we just oh here here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I like his little steppy steps. <laughs> yeah. Well, all the things to forget. I wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. Nah. Oh no, my god! See? Oh, throw it back! Oh, throw oh, it yeah. back! Yeah. Everyone You're in this ruining game the floor. Is it back. Yeah, you really are like destroying the floor, bud. <laughs> Here we are, finally. I feel kind of bad eavesdropping, though. I don't. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 fusing with your character. <laughs> I mean, we just delivered their lost trunk to them, after all. They owe us that much. What kind of detective says something like that? <laughs> I don't think the fate has really changed all that much video game, but okay. 
Get... Okay, I can swing the... Wait. Ooh. You have a sixth sense, but you can't tell when there's a ghost swinging a lamp <laughs> or a lamp around. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have such a small brain to match. Hey. Ouch, <laughs> that hurts, Peyote. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what he loves about her? Bottom. I don't he get it either. <laughs> He loves toxic Latinas. <laughs> I don't. Care. I can't. Damn it! <laughs> now where were we? Oh, right. Who are to invite to the wedding? If we got married, that is, of course. We can talk about that when we're alone. Hmm, but aren't we alone now, Beyoncé? Huh? Do you think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A oh, ladybug? I just hate those little bugs. Oh, there was a bug. There, there was like a police listening bug planted on the chicken. Oh, mm. what? After all that trouble, it happened anyway. It looks that way. Yes, it's not over yet, though. It's not. What are you talking about? The chicken. You're chicken. not dead yet. Chicken. Oh, the shit. Chicken. No, but I'm gonna be in just a few seconds. But before that, there's something... But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. Chicken. Chicken. Oh, I see. Eh. <laughs> There you go. There we go. Go four minutes before the four minutes before. <laughs> saving the dude's life while we're saving this chick's life. Uh, hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you wake up for a second, please? Pushy as ever, this detective. One thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? Yeah. I was like that, and you were like that, too. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Fuck yeah, I'm right. Anyway, <laughs> if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. Why don't we go try and... Why don't we try to go back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? Simple. We go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. You can do that? I never tried it before, so I don't really know how it'll go, but if we can erase the driver's death, that should erase your death, too. Wow. I can't think of it any other way. Let's try it. Man, Sissel would have been so good for the murder of JFK. <laughs> Bryce! Naomi! Oh, speaking of JFK... <laughs> oh, I thought he was holding a gun. I'm sorry. I thought he was holding like a sniper rifle. I've got my shot ready. What the hell? Hey, That's dog, the wrong guy you're talking about. Out of me. That's Lynn, our rookie detective. What's she doing at Point X? Could it be just a coincidence? We just got an APB on her a little while ago. Something about an extremely important case's extremely important witness currently extremely on the run. Now shot what? every time he says extremely. <laughs> Should I report this to Inspector Cabanella? Should I just take the shot? Yeah, they told us to stay off the radio unless it's an emergency. But I think I better call this in. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
Wonder what she did this time. Inspector Gabinella is pretty protective when it comes to Lin. You'd want to know. I like this guy's character design a lot. Oh shit, phone. What's the matter? What is the matter with you? Alright, fine. Wonder who he called. Oh wait, no, or actually no, he, he couldn't have called the the police officers because I think he did that from the from vehicle. The oh, from the there you go. Okay, this so is that was so that was the guy who was calling with the point X shit. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll go get her. Wait, shouldn't we be at the location where he died? No, it we're we're seeing the four minutes before his death, so it's like I guess it's just like following him. Pretty much. Static yep. is awful. I can't. Oh wait, no. Uh, that's uh, that sock. Oh, I can't believe it. I forgot the trunk of all things. What's such a? Oh, that's, that's you. <laughs> and such a small body, and a small cock. He probably only has <laughs> such a small brain to match. God damn. I don't think she said that. <laughs> Ouch, that hurts, Beyone, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. This is the worst fucking audio drama I've ever heard. <laughs> she was literally like, what the heck is this? A ladybug. Miraculous ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate ladybugs. I hate miraculous ladybug. It's too long and there's I don't stupid. like miraculous ladybug either. <laughs> Ah! Oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> they fucking Persona 5 Tim. No. Why does everybody on Persona fucking die via car crash? <laughs> Isekai. Wow, the van driver was a detective. Hey, it looks like it. I noticed something though. The conversation he was listening to just before the crash, I remember hearing it before. You're right. We just heard it a few minutes ago, didn't we? Just after that conversation, the detective suddenly passed out. What happened, I wonder? We already know the answer. We saw what happened at the restaurant. Duh. A, a flashback within a four minutes, but within a four minute flashback. <laughs> Inception. She, she burnt, up, burnt the up the ladybug. Yeah. Sometimes, when a high-tech bug like that is destroyed, it emits a loud signal. Loud enough to knock a person out if they were listening to it through headphones. So that's why the detective passed out, huh? Bingo. Now let's stop it from happening. Yeah, I... Why doesn't he simply turn down his headphones? Is he stupid? <laughs> it might be. Soul, flashing light, recline seats. Hey, this place. This is the place the white suited inspector phoned tonight. This is the parking lot of the park on the east side of town. It's been years. You know this park? Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then, one day, I swore I'd never step foot in this park ever again. Uh, whoa, those are some really dark feelings there. I wonder what happened. Hold it! Don't give me that ghost doesn't have a foot to set it. It's just a figure of speech. What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever. Let's get this started. Okay, let's do that. I won't press her about that other thing right now. But that Maybe is very- there. that's a very interesting detail, though, just to kind of drop. Doesn't look like the detective is gonna come. Oh. Might, <laughs> <laughs> Might as well turn it off, it's pretty loud. Calm down over there. No. Eh. Eh. Wait, I have a way to make the detective come. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you slip the seat back. He's gonna say the same stuff, or maybe news- Oh no, that's- Yeah, no, yeah, that's he said this during the flashback. 
Apparently, they're calling you a fugitive. Oh. You naughty. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Sizzle! Sizzle! Sizzle, you're supposed Down to be boy. based! Down boy! You naughty girl, you. Clip that, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. A girl's heart is a very delicate thing, you know. This from the girl... <laughs> this is from the girl a giant chicken couldn't even kill. Kill me. <laughs> Man, these characters are great. And also weirdly <laughs> out of pocket. <laughs> eh. There we go. They told us to stay out the video unless it's an emergency, but I think I better call this in. Poor Lynn, I wonder what she did this time. Uh, what does he mean this time? Mind your own business. I like to do things my way, all right? My way or the highway. This isn't highway. the first murder she's committed, you know. Huh? <laughs> Cops usually get a three strikes and you're out sort of policy. <laughs> <laughs> now she's on number five. Weird. Inspector Capanel is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. That's why I'm on kill number five. And raise the seat. I don't know if that did anything, but... I wish I could get over there. I want to hear who he's calling. Moshi Moshi. Or who's calling him. Doesn't look like he's going to come. Come on, come. <laughs> Who is this detective talking to? <laughs> Don't keep yelling at me about these things. But they might be talking about something ridiculously important. And that's true, but still. It might be the person who really shot you. Okay, now you're just throwing things out there, and I don't really appreciate it. <laughs> In any case, it looks like it's too late to get to the phone now. Darn, I think we missed our chance. What do you mean, missed our chance? There's nothing that we can do. Maybe while he's passing by the car? I, I just, I'm not sure. Should we just reset then? Mm, hang on. Uh, turn on the light when he gets in there, if you can. Mm, no, he's going over. Might as well see how oh, this what? plays out. Also, trying to figure out what is the the silver box in the back seat. Like, it's a chief, the radio. Blah blah blah. We already did this. Oh, that one. That looks like a like a briefcase. Detective Lynn. Yep. Oh man, this music goes so hard, oh my god. It does. Okay, so having the binoculars on the seat did nothing. He's on the move. There's not much time left. We have to stop him fast. Otherwise, he's going to crash in the chicken kitchen. Hmm. This is like that game, isn't it? It's like... A game of chicken. I thought you were going to say ghost trick. <laughs> I was going to say Flappy Bird, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, but what's a game of chicken? Sorry. I'd better choose my audience more carefully next time I try to tell a joke. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know if you know this, but I can't read. <laughs> okay, so... I can turn this off. I can recline. <laughs> Doesn't this kill him anyway? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think you're doing? You took the oh, steering wheel uh, off. Uh, <laughs> oh my I, god. I just thought I'd better do something. Well, hurry up and put the seat back up. I can't. It's too heavy. All I can do now is hope this guy has strong ab muscles. You killed him. Doesn't this, but didn't this guy take his feet off the accelerator? No, but I, I guess it was already too late. The say it's it happened again. <laughs> Sorry everybody. <laughs> that that one was my bad. Time's up. Time's up. Oops, that was my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I get that you felt that you had to do something, but that 
<laughs> uh, well, there isn't really much I can do once the man is moving. We should rethink this. Was there any other path before that? Guess I better rewind the clock from the beginning. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I so know, I, I know. we can't do shit once he's <laughs> yeah. in the car. Once he's in the car, it's over. So there's got to be something we can do before that. Is there a way we can get the headphones or something? No, the headphones only show up once he's like in the car. So I assume we got to get over to that phone. I think the binoculars are the key, but I'm not really sure. I feel like the siren is also something. I just don't know what that something is. Maybe when he's walking by the car yeah, after the... Yeah, I was about the... to say. Okay. So the recliner... We can get the, the binoculars with the recliner. I'm gonna leave them there. Can't do anything with them. Only other thing I can do is flash this. And knowing that it does something makes me think that it's necessary. So when he walks by. We can't turn Damn it, it. As he walks by. Okay. When he then walks back. Maybe, but I, I definitely think that we need to listen to that phone call. Oh, for sure. The phone call is definitely the thing that, like... Hmm... What happens when I recline this again? Okay, it just it just it goes to the there. front seat. I'm worried about that detective memory. After all, they did call her the Lynn of the Special Investigation Unit. Well, well, did you hear that, detective? At least it's better than me being the memory of the detective division. At any rate, I better report to Inspector Cabanella before I worry about that listening device. Okay, so, hmm. Watch I think light. we already lost our chance already again. Yeah. Yeah, because when he starts walking over, we don't get the option to do anything. Hmm. I think I remember this giving me trouble when I did it last time, too. Start from the beginning. Okay. Now, if I was a ghost and I had to trick something... Okay, so... What is up with these binoculars? These binoculars do something. Yeah, there's like nothing else in the car that I can even use. So it's like, what? What if you turn the light on now? Nothing I was too distracted. Deaf. Is it maybe when? I think maybe when the he's where he like looks up. Maybe when or he's that. okay. Wait. Maybe we can get him. Hold on. I have an idea. Maybe we can get him to go to the front seat and pick up the binoculars. Yeah. And while he's tuning it, we turn it on. There ah. we go. Okay. And now he's going to come to the front seat, see the binoculars, and he's going to be like, why are they here? And he'll pick them up, and he'll bring them over with him, probably. There yeah. we go. Yeah. What is he doing here? No, 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 no. <laughs> Possess. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. That was a close one. We made him come, guys. We, we made him come. We made him come. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, you need to listen to that. Listen to that ish. Detective Wrench, this is memory. What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Is this why she she's quitting tomorrow? This was yep. just an <laughs> undercover job? I completely forgot. There's so much about this game that I forgot about. <laughs> There's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm going to put a ladybug on them. That's how that ladybug. That's how the the thing got on the chicken. <laughs> a ladybug? You mean that shit ass show? Oh, you mean a li listening <laughs> device? <laughs> don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cabanella will be furious. He'll do his angry dance. You don't like that one. But they're doing all <laughs> kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. You can pick up the signal from your van. Check out the conversation for me, would ya? 
All right, fine. Once you get something, once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks. Later then. Hold on. Did you see a customer coming just now? A young woman with red hair and red boots. Oh, yeah. That wrestle suspicious chick? Sure. Suspicious? I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water. In a row. She's gonna piss like fucking crazy. <laughs> and she spilled the second glass on the table. I didn't get paid enough to clean up this shit. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her, too, if you would. Wait, you're getting paid for that job? You got it! Oh, wow. That waitress was an undercover agent? And she apparently thought you were pretty suspicious, <laughs> too. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was really thirsty. So, you know. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you hear what, what I heard about the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So, should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. But definitely go there. Maybe we can, like, I don't know, put the bug on something else. Look. Every character in this game is thirsty. Lynn just takes it more literally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look where we are. The heart of the chicken kitchen, eh? Yup, or as most people say, the kitchen. I hope kitchen. the key to preventing that <laughs> chicken. <laughs> chicken. Chicken. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say. Where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Hmm, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Yo, what the fuck's up with the ventilation? Why aren't the fans on? It's William Afton's nightmare gas, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, switch no, it's on. Pizza Simulator! It's the NAF 4! What's wrong? I can't seem to raise this switch. It won't budge. Yeah, well, not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. I bet it must be stuck. Yeah, it does feel pretty sticky. Ew. But if the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> that is the craziest trick I've ever pulled off in this game. Yeah, so it's a bottle of something. Yeah, it's, it's like a wine like... bottle. I feel like a secret ingredient. Hey, look what she's doing. Do you think that could be? Yeah, she's probably planting the ladybug. Now that you think about it, it's the waitress's meddling that starts the whole chain of events. The detective wouldn't have gotten his ears blown out and wouldn't have crashed. In other words, we're witnessing it with our own eyes. The cause of the huge disaster slowly being planted in a chicken. Chicken. Hey, <laughs> chicken. I just had a good idea. About chicken? <laughs> yeah. No, I was <laughs> thinking we could let her get crushed under the chicken instead of me. Let's Bruh. just fucking kill her. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking. <laughs> At any rate now, we've seen the root cause of the accident. This is the second time that we've seen Lynn's bloodlust in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that murder was on purpose. Yo, and all we have to do now is think of a way to take care of it. The more that time passes, the more the more and more Lynn feels more and more like a cop. <laughs> okay. It's smoky in here. <laughs> oh wait. I can lower it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna turn that back off again. Boop. And then go back. Let the smoke accumulate a little bit. Maybe I can rock. Oh! Yep, it is a bottle. Oh, 
Oh, and... Oh! <laughs> He's gonna... Why'd oh, there we noise? go! Oh. He's smoky in here, and then she pulls... Oh! And then we there swap we it. Go. There we go. The old okay, we did it. Now we just gotta wait. <laughs> that man's cooking chicken. Seriously, what is what is up with this guy's nose? It's been burnt so much from cooking all the chicken. Or he character like design. Like a it little tiny, look like just like a loaf of bread. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. I see more. La la la, chicken. The art so beautiful, chicken. I do enjoy not being dead. I took a bite. My heart swelled with pride, and I got goosebumps. Don't tell me he had a food What the yasm. fuck radio station am I on? <laughs> I'm consumed with love. The love of consuming you. La 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 la. Oh no, he likes war. Oh, oh. oh god. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> Starts oh, fucking the chicken. <laughs> no. Oh. Mm. Well, it looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your, ho by your horrible hen. Yeah. But I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I shot you, didn't I? Eh, there must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's I'm never okay to shoot a person. Guy. <laughs> no matter what the circumstance. Well then, you know, <laughs> you must have had a very good reason for shooting me point blank in the face. <laughs> hey, shouldn't that be my line? Pretty heinous shit. But anyway, you were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you were looking into. Yeah, I guess I should. Let's go, Lore! But let's go back to the new present first. Yeah, okay, sure. You just go back and Lynn just fucking runs away. So basically, Lynn's dead. dead in the Family Guy pose again. She choked on a chicken bone. God damn it! Oh, I forgot. I'm allergic to chicken. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. But I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for the, her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her, see her, and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Sure. Chicken time. Chicken. Chicken time. I gotta, I gotta wait for him to do this thing. Man, he I is feel, cooking. I don't feel like that would cook a chicken all the way through, but <laughs> do you, bud? Well, the chicken's already cooked through. He's just, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. He's just searing it. Mm. Why are you flavor. making those noises? <laughs> because the cook was doing that. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess. <laughs> Wait, Sissel, what do you have to say about the chicken guy? Mm. Come to think of it, I don't see that chicken waitress. If her cart were here, she would take me out of the dining area. Maybe using the telephone would be faster. I better hurry up and get to Lynn. Maybe she's dead. She, she's probably dead again. <laughs> a, a chicken bone stabbed through her heart. God. I do really like how when we first saw the chef in like the ghost trick vision, we saw something was under his hat, but we didn't know what it was, and then it got revealed later in the same like chapter. I thought that was cool. <laughs> the disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I saved the red-headed detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. Criminal. Cr criminal, criminal. <laughs> Criminal, 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 One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. Yo, she be eating. Yo. Yo, she eating. Yo, fuck it up. She am, girl. Yo, she's eating that chicken like it's cake. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. <laughs> Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Why are you gonna say it like that? Because it's it's dramatic. I want a piece. Don't come back. No? Is Lynn having a serious talk with that detective? Nah, she's just gobbling down chicken. <laughs> How do the detectives know to stake out this restaurant tonight? I'd better see if I can get some information. But more importantly, Checking. I have lots of questions for that lady detective. And then just like, eh, what the fuck? Can't reach it. Can't fucking reach it. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Ringe. Come to see me, did you? Aw, that's so sweet! I can't because I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> Alright, Memory, don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? Chicken. 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 No thanks. Just watching <clears throat> Lynn eat is quite enough for me. Damn. So, how did it turn out? With my ladybug. I love mukbangs. Oh, that listening device? <laughs> Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Can you leave us to it? Damn. But you guys are the ones who called me over! <laughs> I didn't call shit. Odd girl. <laughs> I agree. Me too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Do you do be fucking up that chicken? <laughs> Did you decide you want some chicken? Or me, after all? Ew. <laughs> Cooties, ew. Ew. <laughs> Are you a fish? You. Sorry, but then could don't you give talk us some to privacy? me. Don't talk to me. No, stay right there. Huh? I'm at a crucial moment with this chicken here. I'll need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. I can't die again. My ghost <laughs> friend will laugh at me. <laughs> Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. Listen, chicken. don't talk to me like chicken. that. Chicken. He's right. Look at her attacking that thing. Anyway, I'd better move now while I have the chance. <laughs> not the, not damn. Not the deep throating. <laughs> Grapefruit technique. He's not even chewing. <laughs> hmm, that's funny. <laughs> even though I just saved oh, that detective, he doesn't have a core. Huh? Not like the one that Lynn huh? has or that valiant little doggy missile. I thought the only ones I save are supposed to develop a core, when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. This guy ain't shit. Someone's sus. Well, I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes or planting bugs. Someday, I'll plan a big one on you, detective. That's harassment. Damn, what the fuck is up with her? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weird-ass girl. I agree. Me too. Oh, nice. <laughs> Listen. Like, those pieces of chicken are half the size of her face. Yeah. Listen, Lynn. They are the size of her face. You gotta learn how to chew. <laughs> I've, you've explained your side, and I understand. But there's an APB out for you. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, slip away quietly. No can do. I'm meeting someone here. Meeting somebody? Oh, yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. Why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. Now, how can that be a coincidence? Oh, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? 
that you're... The chicken gobbler. <laughs> the glizzy gobbler. Are you really the glizzy gobbler? The glizzy gobbler. And your damn business. Gobble gobble. You still looking <laughs> Detective Jowd's case on your own? Stop eating an egg so you can Who the ass. hell? Who <laughs> dares? Inspector, Inspector Cabanel is worried about you and your eating habits, you know. Yeah. Yes. I understand how yes. you feel, but... It's me. Don't do anything crazy, okay? She's having a girl dinner of a whole rotisserie chicken. Girl dinner! Girl dinner! <laughs> girl dinner! <laughs> So, how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? Chicken. <laughs> it's great. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> but you know, with Detective Ridge, that that's his name, by the way, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? It's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Uh-huh. Oh, brother. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's gonna give me a pass just for tonight. Hmm. Speaking of Detective Range, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? Yeah, I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm. I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Uh, yeah, he, he was, wasn't he? Uh, just like you. You were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core, either. So, for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you then. But, I've still got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started then. What is your connection to prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd? He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yeah, I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Academia? <laughs> hero, right? Hero, huh? Like my hero academia? Featuring Deku? Deku! Kachan! You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. Now, uh, now just calm down and drop that weapon. Uh, s stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. I, I keep forgetting who's talking here. I'm trying to, like, parse it together. <laughs> On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. We're gonna see and, then, oh, and then suddenly, someone grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared. I thought I was gonna die for the first time. And then... He appeared, Detective Jode. And then a, a missile hurtled towards her. That, that was a pretty devastating gunshot. <laughs> and then he activated the orbital strike. <laughs> <laughs> and then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to Baby. Oh. You're all right now. Are you hurt? Y you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. You know, a pig. So, that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of a ideal of what a detective was all about. One of the good ones. <laughs> when an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. <gasps> 
And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Techno, right. I'm busy, buddy. Oh, my cat. Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigation Unit. He... <laughs> I'm choked on my spit, I'm sorry. sorry he said it's important... too much chicken. It's too <laughs> much chicken. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. But that's what he said. Anyway, that couple at the table upstairs. I heard they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in the sale to show up now. Those two, huh? They certainly are an odd pair. Is this other party? They're waiting for me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of the deal except for one person. Fucking Cabanoa. Look at you. <laughs> Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They s they say, uh, actually, I think this is you. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Inspector Cabanella, eh? Apparently, you're a real favorite of his. Favorite? Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jode were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. God, he is so fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really they, is. Look at him. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. They joined the detective division the very same day. They're two very different types, but they're always in friendly competition to do the best. To be the best. Detective Jode was always very particular and thorough about uh, investigations of crime scenes. Cabanella mm. like dancing. Yeah, and, and Inspector Cabanella, well, he likes to surf cunt. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyway, those two lead uh, lead the detective division in those days. But Inspector Cabanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Jode incident, now he distanced himself from field work. And he started to focus on nothing more but the ladder. Oh, but moving up the ladder. Hmm. And so that's how he became the head of the Special Investigation Unit, I, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanella took me under his wing. Because you were his little girl and his good friend had saved, right? He really looked out for me, helping me study for my detective's exam. Fudging my exam scores for me, dude! That explains uh, a lot. That goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. <laughs> Inspector Cabanella, huh? I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happening tonight. Stop drooling on my leg, bud. I'm sure it's, ta uh, it's talking. Uh, it's taking Camilla long enough. She should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that just about sums it up. It doesn't look like being worried affects your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the, bigger the crisis, the more the girls gotta eat. I have to make sure Camilla stays safe, no matter what. Camilla, and that music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, that wooden box. That pop- that box was a present from Detective Jode. From Detective Jode? 
Yeah, it was five years ago. The box arrived three days after the murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything is settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So, what's inside? Mm. I don't know, I can't open it. Hmm, that's a shame. Sissel, I... Did I really shoot you? Uh, yeah, no, it seems that way. Uh, but also, where did that come from? I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel. And how hard it is to have your memory gone, your story erased. Yeah, but who knows? Knowing the truth might have been harder. <clears throat> I'd rather believe there's hope myself. We need more stupid women representation in media. Bless. <laughs> more girl failures. She really is a girl failure. <laughs> Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I was yes. wondering, like, what was going on while you're having that, like, talk with Sissel? Her face, Were you just her talking face to yourself must be for the so past greasy. 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. No, I am horrified. I've never <laughs> seen anyone do that. <laughs> you're a monster. The plate is don't... clean. The bones are clean. The... Give the bone to missile. There's not even any bear mirror on the bone anymore. <laughs> it's just a shell. D this case you say you're looking into. Is it Detective Jones? Maybe. What if it was? I... I can't keep it from you. It's too cruel. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn. It's... It's tonight. Detective Jones, uh, you know. It's tonight. We fucking killed him. His execution. He dies. What? But there's still time. I looked into it, and I found out all the executions in this count, uh, country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to be happening pretty soon. And you let me eat this chicken? And there isn't anything we can do to stop it? I don't think there was any physical way I could stop you from eating that chicken. I was afraid of losing a hand. <laughs> if I got any closer there, <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> Not without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. I'm going to go see him then. What? See who? Who else? The Justice Minister. Don't be ridiculous. There's not enough time. I'm going. Ridiculous is my middle name. Sissel. What? Me? Go to the prison. Stop that execution. What are you uh, talking easy about? enough for you to say. <laughs> yeah. Detective Ridge, I'm going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Can I get some chicken? <laughs> Is there anything else I can do? Lick the bone. Uh, could you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, you little Camilla. Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Jode. My name is Vringe. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ridge is like, who the fuck are you talking to? Did you not get the enough oxygen shoveling all that chicken down your throat? Did what breathe? the fuck is a sizzle? The <laughs> life of yet another person I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there maybe something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be de executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one. But I've decided to go to the prison anyway. I cannot read. 
but I still can't fucking read. All right. Yeah. Dunzo. Yeah. We're now in chapter eight, and we'll end it for tonight. Mm -hmm. You can have the fan art to look at. Got like three pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me uh, put on some music. Thank God for the convenient extras menu. <laughs> And this goes hard. <laughs> it goes super hard. Uh, let me see. Is it in Ghost Trick chat? Yes, it is. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, got one. Got two. Heck no, come on, bud. Got three. Little boy. Come on, baby. Out on the desk. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the first piece of fan art. Uh, is what I would say if I had it up, but I accidentally minimized it. <laughs> How dare you. Okay. Window capture. No, don't capture Ghost Trick again. There we go. Uh, this this one uh, is by Bones, but cool, and it's <laughs> it's <laughs> Sissel getting ready to trick. <laughs> of course, this music turns on when I say that. <laughs> you trick! I'm tricking. Trick. I'm kicking. <laughs> It deserves a retweet for me. <laughs> and speaking of tricking, this is by Snickers Night. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, gonna trick! <laughs> I'm tricking, I'm tricking! Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me! Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> it's over, it's over, the bit's over, the bit's over! And this is by Cucumber Ice Pop, and it's me as Sissel. Yeah! Yeah! Kind of slaying it too. Hold on, I'm not showing the full the full art. My bad. You draw baby girls, don't you? I can tell by the art style. <laughs> <laughs> I see all you salty fans out there drawing him so baby girl. I'm gonna calm down. And all right, that is it for this week. Does anybody have any thoughts on the story so far? Shit's getting interesting. <laughs> There's yes. gonna be some serious going down. It's been crazy. Does anybody have any theories at all that they want to share, or ideas that they might have? I had, like a, this, I had like a stupid like theory earlier. It's not, it's not a theory anymore. But I was like, God, what if Doctor Dro, what, what's his name, Jowd? I was like, what if Doctor Jowd is actually the lamp? <laughs> what if Detective <laughs> Jowd was the lamp the whole time? What if he was and the his, lamp the and whole his time? Body is like, and his body is like possessed by a different person or something. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, anything's possible in the, the world of Ghost Trick. <laughs> Ooh. I'd like to think that like Ray is definitely going to make another appearance later in the line. I mean, maybe, but you know. Mm, sometimes characters just show up and never show up again. Fair. If if I'm not mistaken, I don't think we see memory again. I think that's the last of her, but I could be completely wrong. There could be more chicken related stuff. I don't remember now. Chicken. 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 The so way that Hannah portrayed uh, memory just gives me like very distinct vibes of the one waitress character in the second All Dogs Go to Heaven movie, and I it's so specific. I but that's the love vibe. That movie. I've it's never seen that, movie. so I can't compare. Well, now you gotta go watch it. I have to like send you a clip of like that waitress. Hold on. But yeah, uh, I think, yeah, this game has like 18 com full chapters and we're, we're into, we're on chapter eight next. So we're like, that's like almost halfway. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope everybody at home ha had fun tricking they ghost up in here. Who up tricking they ghost? 
we'll be back next week and Gerber will be here and Gerber yeah. can do his epic voiceover. What, what's crazy is that Gerber's characters really didn't say that much this stream, so I didn't have to do that much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, point. yeah. All right, everybody. Have a good night. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Yep, we're done. I just realized my mic is still unmuted. Hi, everybody. Now we're done. Whoops.